I've recently posted a video about my DIY carbon fiber pannier rack. It's 160 grams and less than 40 euros. The video is doing better than anything I've ever made for YouTube. So if you're new here, welcome. Many of you have questions and many of you have asked for a more detailed video of the process of making this thing. So here you go. I made a blueprint and I'm gonna put a link to it in the description below, but I think it's so pretty, I might even make a t-shirt out of it. There's a bunch of affiliate links in the description for the tubes and bolts. If you do make one, I'd love to see it when it does. The first step is dry fitting. I imagine every one will be different because of the placement of the rack holes. I've linked to the seat post clamp as well. Small note, it was too big for my seat tube, so there's a slither of aluminium sheet stuffed underneath it. This bit's just eyeballed. I wanted the rack to naturally lean forward so gravity would be assisting with the mounting of any bags. Maybe that's nonsense, who knows. Then I made a jig for pipe cutting and drilling. It's much nicer than trying to clamp your lovely carbon tubes into a vise. Ever since using a Japanese pull saw, I've changed the direction of my hacksaw and miraculously, it never gets stuck anymore. I roughed up the inside of the tubes with some sandpaper to create some micro scratches for the glue to adhere to. Many have asked which epoxy I used. It worked, but I don't see any reason why another wouldn't. It just happened to be what my supermarket had on the shelf. Apply liberally. So here's where it gets tricky. The eye bolts have a 5.1mm hole. This works really well for bike mounting. You'll find that most of your bike bolts are M5. However, in order to get a 5.1mm hole, the bolts needed to be M6. This is why the nuts are M6 and in turn the inner dimension of the tubes is 9mm. So the four bolts that attach to the bike are unaffected. However, the four that connect to the angle end needed to be enlarged to 6mm. So I put a bit of heat through them to soften the metal, drilled some 6mm holes, then warmed them up again to flash cool them and maybe stiffen them up again. I'm no blacksmith, but this made sense in theory. And it's cheaper than the amount of drill bits I would have got through trying to drill through toughened steel. Next for the cross braces. I went back to the jig, I drilled the 10mm pilot hole on a 9 degree angle, then sanded down the frayed ends. I added a bit of dowel inside the ends of the cross tubes to create a larger gluing surface. Epoxy's a bugger to wipe off, so I masked the areas around the spot to avoid excess. Roughened it up a bit and glued them on. And it was finished. Lots of you have asked for a film about the bags as well. They're DIY, they're made of recycled ski trousers and my daughter's waterproofs. I've shot the film, it's coming out soon, but uh, the sun's just come out, so I'm gonna be going on lots of bike rides. Um, you may have to wait a little while for that one. The UCI recently banned fairings between your aero bars, but the UCI has no jurisdiction here, so tomorrow I get to test out my solar panel. I'm going out on a 90k ride with a bunch of friends in Kembisadi and we're testing the route from the Midnight Sun Gravel. There's a film on the solar panel coming out soon, but first I have to learn how to use a multimeter so that I can give you some decent readings on it. It's really, really nice to meet you all. I've been making films on YouTube for many years, so it's really lovely that people have started to take notice. Thank you so much for all the comments and support. As you can tell, there's quite a lot coming up. Stick around, I'll see you soon.